Welcome back to Fixing Expert Dubai. Today, we have an exciting project lined up for you. We'll show you step by step how to roof ulster an armchair and give it a fresh new look. So, let's dive right in. Step 1. Gather the materials. Before we begin, let's go over the materials you'll need for this project. You'll require a staple remover, fabric of your choice, upholstery foam, batting, a staple gun, scissors, a screwdriver, and some decorative trim. Make sure you have all these items ready before we proceed. Step 2. Remove the existing upholstery. Alright, let's get started with the first step, removing the existing upholstery. Using the screwdriver, carefully remove any screws or fasteners that are securing the fabric to the chair frame. Once that's done, use the staple remover to take out the staples and detach the fabric completely. Step 3. Add padding and batting. Now that the old upholstery is out of the way, it's time to add some padding. Take the upholstery foam and cut it to the shape of the chair seat and backrest. Make sure to measure accurately for a perfect fit. Next, place the foam onto the chair, ensuring it's centered and aligned properly. Step 4. Choose and attach the new fabric. The foundation is now in place. It's time for the exciting part choosing and attaching the new fabric. Lay out your chosen fabric on a flat surface and place the chair upside down on top of it. Carefully trace around the chair, leaving a few inches of excess fabric on all sides for a proper fit. Once you've cut out the fabric, it's time to start attaching it to the chair. Begin by securing the fabric at the center of each side, using the staple gun. Continue stapling along the edges, pulling the fabric taut as you go. Be sure to create neat, even folds at the corners for a professional finish. Step 5. Add Decorative Trim Looking good so far. Now, for that final touch of elegance, let's add some decorative trim. Measure the length required for each edge of the chair and cut the trim accordingly. Apply a small amount of fabric glue along the edge and carefully press the trim onto it. Allow it to dry completely. 